it was um, surprising, uh, phenomenal, um, record-breaking, uh, a season that that will never be forgotten. And, you know, especially by those who uh, were playing on that team, uh, anybody who was associated with that team, and, and if you were in the area. Uh, at that time, I don't think anybody will ever forget that season uh, because it, it kind of came out of nowhere. Uh, typical Southern Miss team will, will play you hard, uh, play you tough. And um, we just kind of took it to another level that particular year. It's, it's, uh, it, it should be a measuring stick uh, as to what you want to accomplish. You know, I think you, we've had a couple of teams since then, you know, that have had some great years. But, you know, I think that year in, the, in itself, um, we accomplished a lot of firsts uh, during that time. First time a team had ever been ranked. You know, it was unheard of back in that, in that time. You know, it was... It was something special. Uh, we had this guy named Thad Dillard that was a, a nose man, and I mean, he was tough. And um, Thad Dillard, in 1978, got real nervous before the game. Well, he get nervous before the game, he get so nervous that his stomach would start kind of churning a little bit. So the ball game was about to start, and Thad's down in his stance, and all of a sudden he like, starts filling his stomach, and all of a sudden it all comes up and ends up on the football. Well, the offensive lineman that comes over to it <laughs> leans down and looks down at that ball and he says, oh my, he said, man, you are one nasty dude. Well, so we started calling Thad, Mr. Nasty. Well, it really kind of, it was like, wow, that's kind of a nice little name, Nasty, you know? And, and then we thought, well, what about Coach Carmody? And so we started calling Coach Carmody Big Nasty. I would bang my helmet on the door. <laughs> open the door, big nasty, open the door. <laughs> open the door, big nasty, open the door. <laughs> and so the defense, the nasty bunch was over there banging. Well, the offense is right behind us, but banging on the door. Let us out of here. You're trying to, and so big nasty's outside, and he can't get the key. <laughs> we're, we're locked in. And so by the time they had opened this door and found the key and got us all, we were running over. As some of y'all remember, the, a bunch of the players came out on the field and tripped over each other getting out on the field at that time. We expected to, to have a good season and, and as it turned out, uh, we got a lot of good breaks and the kids played extremely well and played hard and we did have a good year. Uh, it was really, really a special season and the things that Reggie did, the things that Sammy Winder did, the, things Ricky Floyd did um, and you know you, it's easy to talk about your offensive player but then the nasty bunch our defensive uh, team had just truly an outstanding year. He had two sports psychologists come into the locker room and turn the lights down and hypnotize us. <laughs> We all thought Coach was crazy when he first brought him in, you know, because it's just something that just wasn't done back then. I mean, it's, it's a common occurrence right now, you know, for, you know, sports psychologists to come in and do their thing. But, you know, when he brought this guy in, you know, he was, we were like, you know, what, you know, what the hell's going on here? You know, I think they bought into the program more so than us hypnotizing them. <laughs> well, these gentlemen that were sports psychologists came in turned the lights down and said, okay, now picture yourself standing up at the top of your head and there's some stairs that are going down into your the middle of your mind. And as you walk down the stairs, you're getting closer and closer to the center of thinking. And he says, he had them all take a piece of paper and he wrote on that piece of paper, I believe. They said, now wad it up, stick it in your pocket. You know, all the stars were aligned for him as far as what he was preaching to us and what he was trying to instill in us uh, is that you have to believe in yourself. The meetings 
about to be over, the lights come up and he said, I believe. And we said, I believe, the whole thing. He said, I believe. And we said, I believe. I believe, I believe, several times, I do believe. The I believe, say I believe, say I do believe. Hey, 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 I believe, say I believe. Oh yeah, they, I can't remember exactly how we did it. I believe, say I believe, say I do believe. Hey, 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 I believe, say I believe, say I do believe. <laughs>